Joe Rogan gives his thoughts on the controversial decision of Sean O'Malley versus Peter Yan. He said, I'm going to have to watch this. Yeah. Afterwards to see if, if I actually won it. Yeah. Um, a lot of people were shocked. Like, yeah. Uh, there's a video of Khabib watching the decision. And Khabib's like, how? How? Yeah. How? How yeah. did he win? How? So it seems like most people were shocked at the decision. Even a lot of UFC fighters after the fight got on social media and said Peter Yan got robbed. Takedowns without damage. It's like, what is that val? I mean, and I'm not, now I'm not denying that I thought Peter Yan won because I did think he won at the end of it. But takedowns without damage versus stand up with damage. Because so I do think more people believe Peter Yan should have won the fight. And even at the end of the fight, if you look at Sean O'Malley's body language, he just looks surprised when they raised his hand. Sugar landed more strikes standing and had big moments. Jan had some big moments too, one big left hand that rocked him. The question is like, how much is the, how valuable are those takedowns and how valuable is that top game and that control? So I do get what Joe Rogan is saying. Peter Jan had six takedowns. He also had five minutes and 54 seconds of control time, but he just wasn't able to do any damage when he actually took Sean O'Malley down. It was a very close fight and he definitely hurt Piotr in multiple occasions caught him with that big knee rocked him the question is uh how much is the takedown worth how much is control worth so i'm sure sean o'malley will not like joe rogan coming out and saying that on such a big platform i remember sean o'malley got mad at daniel cormier for saying something negative about him and o'malley made like a big deal out of it so sean o'malley did address the backlash he's received after the fight let's check out what he had to say I think all the people that are so mad that he lost are all of the people that said he was going to smoke me. So I do think there is some truth to what Sean O'Malley is saying, but then you have people like Joe Rogan who just simply believe Peter Yan won the fight. I feel like I just pushed further, pushed harder, and, and did what I needed to do, and it, everyone's opinion is going to be different, so... So look, the fact that people are still debating this just goes to show you how close the fight actually was. And even though it might not happen soon, I think a rematch in this case is very justifiable. And if I'm Peter Yan, I'm trying to get this rematch ASAP. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think Peter Yan got robbed or do you think Sean O'Malley did enough to get the win? Also, be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And watch this video next.